Hey, Internet friend, Magic Brad here with Synergy Cafe and the Synergy Collaborative. And I've got a friend of mine that I met before, and we harked back and looked at some old video we did. And his name is Jason Criddle. Is that, it's right, it's Criddle, it's not Criddle, right? Yeah, yeah, man. We even joked about that on the first recording. <laughs> Joke, jokes, riddles. It's good to see you, man. It's good to see you again. <laughs> yeah, I was telling my wife that uh, we're connecting again because we're up in Minneapolis, the throat chakra of the Mississippi River, and you're down in mm -hmm. near Dallas, which is the what chakra? Yeah, we're Let's see. Yeah, we got we got the shockers going. So you're you're up here somewhere, and I'm I'm down here. Down <laughs> exactly. At the shocker, right. Exactly. Yeah, it's good to connect with you again. And uh, a lot has changed, but not a lot has changed. <laughs> right. Right, man. Yeah, I was looking at our old interview this morning, and we said that we were going to record a couple of sessions in 2017. I don't I don't think, I don't think we ever did that. Well, there's a whole thing happening that, that's been happening for a while, this whole concept of downsizing and simplifying. And it's really hard to do that. Like um, there's an app called Blab. Do you remember that? I, I think I heard yeah. of it. What was it about? It, it was basically a video platform to do exactly what we're doing now. And then it was functioning off of Twitter. So you had like a, a, a studio audience that could watch what you're doing. But what they started doing is they started adding features to it like PayPal buttons and and chat features and lower thirds and upper this and it got to be too much and now it's no longer because it got complicated so mm -hmm. i think what's happening that uh that should be happening is making things very very simple these days and um like like a computer it's got all these keys on there but you use one of these things everybody's got one they got it in their pocket it's pretty basic you just push that thing and the lights up and you can use it it's kind of right. simple complicated right. inside but the basic essence of it is simple. So that's what I think is happening. And you're right. You've got, yeah, we were talking, you're, you're, we were talking about our, we were talking about our software earlier. Yeah. that. Um, and we launched our, you know, at the, around 2017, we launched a version of our software. It's very simple to use a cool affiliate marketplace. And then we started getting feedback from customers and we're asking our customers, what is something that you would like? What is something that you would put in? Um, and then somebody mentioned, oh, well, it would be really cool if somebody could link to my posting from Facebook. And it would be really cool if people could review this. And it'd be really cool if you could do this. So we, we spent a lot of time and effort on putting out this second version of the software, which was our alpha. Um, and it started doing pretty well. But then whenever we came out with a third version, nothing happened. No sales, no customers, nothing. Why? Well, because there were... <laughs> there were 17 menu buttons. I'm not even exaggerating. There were 17 buttons in the menu. All right. And we had put so many options in the software that we had completely lost focus on what we originally put out. And so the reason why this version of the software is working so well is because we went back to basics. Yep. What was the what was the best selling version of the software that we had? It was the second version, the easiest to use, simple UI. And so now, since we're back to that, we just put out a more beautiful, more secure, easier to use version of the simple software. And, and it's going now. Well, the, so people, the, we don't have to complicate things the, anymore. The king is Google. And look at their homepage. It hasn't changed. It's just really mm -hmm. simple. And like you look at a phone, what does a phone do? And people don't use these as phones anymore. They're computers. They're not phones. Right. And uh, you look at a car, a car just gets from point A to point B, and it doesn't really matter if it's got all the fancy stuff on it, it still gets you there. Mm -hmm. So I think the basic essence, like the internet, all the internet really is, is a bunch of links and a bunch of words. That's all it really is, is text and links. And then it's right. got other stuff around it that confuses us. So, right. so tell me more about your, why, your... Oh, I was your, just going to say, that's the reason why Google is so simple, right? Is because... Uh, because what you're looking for when you go to Google is everybody else's content. That's it. And Google is just a place to lead you to everybody else's content. But right. whenever you go on Yahoo and on Bing and you compare it to Google, it's so cluttered, it's so full of stuff because they're trying to create everything. They're trying to show you everything all at once. But really, I go to Google because I'm looking for something specific. So well, for sure, uh, you know, even even on our phones, we got that that little search bar, and that's all you need. And if you just have that little Google search bar, then you can do anything on the internet. You well, don't like, need all the clutter. Like as an example, like I want to talk a little about your app thing that you're putting out. 
some people, they created these web pages and they thought, oh, I'll be able to have all this information and then people just call me up. And then you find out on their web page they don't have a phone number on their web page. Right. <laughs> and you also find out that if, uh, and that's something that we've uh, been working on a lot with our customers. If you have a bunch of information and you don't have the ability for somebody to buy your product right now, then they're going to leave your website. If you make somebody get in contact with you in order to purchase something, you're more than likely going to lose that sale. And so, um, so one of the things that I try to tell customers all the time is tell somebody to buy something, give somebody something to buy, and then give them the ability to buy it. And, and that, that's what business is, mm -hmm. right? A business, by definition, is, uh, is a commerce. It's, a, it's commerce. It's it's a person giving money in exchange for a product or service. And so back seven, eight years ago, when I first got into this, the, the cool thing was to have the biggest website. And you would go to a website and, and all your, all the person's just trying to sell baskets, right? They're an underwater basket weaver. They're trying to sell baskets. But then they got 38 pages of information and a blog and all this stuff. But, but we discovered that all you really need is a a picture of a basket, the price, and a buy now button. And if you have that, then you can get customers all day long. That's yeah. all you need. I think it uh, definitely needs to be simplified. There's uh, way too much information. I've got multiple websites, and I think there's just way too much information on them. And th the reality is, to me, it's about relationships, where you're not just going to go onto a website and buy something if you don't know who the hell it is and what they're really about. And then there's that alignment factor, you know. Is the person a Democrat or Republican? Are they pro-choice, pro-life? Yeah. They pro gun. Right. You got that alignment, and then they will buy your product once they know, like, trust, and respect you. Right. Which is uh, which is a good lead into our software, uh, smarter marketing. Um, it's it's built to focus on referral marketing, and so whenever people download the smarter marketing app, what they have in front of them is an app that sells the app. And spell and so it. People spell uh, smarter. smarter. S M A R T R marketing. So it's, it's two different. different words. S M A R T R smarter without an E, and then marketing. Um, and so people are using this app to buy their own white labeled version of that app. Our app is purple. It has a marketplace with uh, product descriptions for the software, the different packages that they can buy, and then they purchase the package that they want to buy for their company and we white label the exact same app to them. So it's a really easy to use system because when I download smarter marketing um, and put in a, I get my own referral code. When I share that referral code with somebody, I make money whenever they make a purchase. And so it was built to fall into that space of referral marketing, uh, getting back to basics, uh, being able to present your products to people and then a person being able to say, okay, well, I'm going to buy this because my friend Brad uses it. That my friend Brad referred me to this company and that's how we buy things. I, I buy pickles. I, I, I have some pickles in my fridge that I love, but I never even heard of this brand until somebody told me these are the best pickles in the world. <laughs> and then I went from one brand to the other and I haven't gone back. And, uh, and, and that's how we buy. We buy through conversations with our friends. So, as, so our software gives people the ability to make money doing that. So as an example, in, in the business that I'm in, in the events world, and I got into the events because of my magical entertainment, in that vertical, it's a wide vertical of events that are corporate events, association conventions, weddings, fairs, festivals, city celebrations, concerts, private parties, galas, and fundraisers. There's a lot of things in there that... Um, an event there are types of events and there's different types of event planners that plan all those things and now there's all the vendors and resources that an event planner might need so like say uh, a concert that event planner that's putting together the concert needs staging and lighting probably some porta potties and maybe some power generators and some portable fencing and maybe they want an opening act for the for the the musician that's going to play so they might hire magic brad to open up for whoever so mm -hmm. in my industry, I would be able to propagate this app concept out to all these different vendors, whether they be a caterer or a tent rental place or a uh, uh, staging, lighting, limousine service. 
And that now our family of in Minneapolis, Minnesota are all using this app to be able to connect with each other to say, hey, there's a gig that someone's doing. Not only did they do the concert, they're also doing this art fair and they need tents. Right. So you could, you could have right. that family that's all using that similar type software. And now when I'm referring that stuff out, I get a little piece of that tent rental or whatever, right? Exactly. Exactly. So they can, each one of those companies can have their own app to sell their own products. Um, a person in that family can buy an app and list all those products for those people and then take a cut whenever people are using those products. Mm -hmm. um, it's funny that you said events because we actually have uh, an app coming out next month that's just, it's strictly for wedding and event planners. It's called Smarter We. Uh, WE, Smarter Weddings and Events. And the whole point of the app is to bring together everything that you just said. You, you have an app right here where uh, the, the tables, the chairs, the flowers, the props, I mean, everybody can list everything in that app. And then that allows you, uh, that allows you to not only put your service inside the app, but at the same time, you're still making money just by sharing that app with people. And right. So even if somebody doesn't buy your magic service, you're still making money every time they buy some other service in that app. Right. Well, we should have another conversation about that whole thing in the events industry because you could have got smarter we, you could have smarter meetings, you could have smarter uh, um, galas and fundraisers, you could have smarter concerts, you could have smarter mm -hmm. club dates. You could, there's a lot of stuff you could do with hey, the man, event we're, Hey, hey I, I like your brain, man. We need some business <laughs> partners. <laughs> no. yeah, the reality with the whole competition thing, that works in sports, but it doesn't work in business. Because if you look around, Burger King and McDonald's, they're still here. Yeah, and they're side by side. Yeah. Okay. You got Burger King, McDonald's, and Wendy's on the same corner in every city that you go to, and they're all making a killing. Yep. And Coca-Cola and Pepsi, still here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there's one that's bigger than the other, but nobody wins because there's no deadline. There's no goal. It's <laughs> The game's right. still going. Yeah. One, of the things that, one of the things we teach our salespeople is um, the only competition that you have is whatever your customer is currently using. Sure. And so if you're out there trying to sell a SaaS product or a B2B product, well, you're not competing with a hundred different companies. I mean, cause I mean, in reality, you could say that you're competing with Microsoft, right? Well, nobody's competing with Microsoft. You could, you're competing with Google. No, you're competing with whatever your customer is currently paying for. Right. Whatever you're going to get them off of. And as long as you can of. offer more value than what they're paying for, then you, you've made a sale. Got it. Well, I don't like to make these too long because people do have that uh, valuable commodity of time. They're busy doing things. So, Tell us how to get a hold of you or how to get a hold of the app or sign up for it or whatever. Yeah, so uh, so you can still get in touch with me the same way as you could in 2016 when we talked. You can download <laughs> yes. the Jason app uh, in your app store. You can also go to jasoncriddle.com. That's Riddle with a C in front of it, Jason, C-R-I-D-D-L-E. But what I do want people to do is I want them to check out Smarter Marketing, S-M-A-R-T-R, uh, marketing and they can get that app in either the iOS or Android app store. They can also go to the smarter marketing app.com when they register on the app, uh, they're going to be prompted to put in a referral code mm -hmm. and I want them to put in the referral code magic Brad, no spaces, there you all go. one word magic <laughs> Brad. So whenever you get registered in the app, it's going to say, enter the referral code of the person that read that sent you this. You're going to put in Magic Brad, and then you're in the app. And once you get in, you're going to have 20 bucks to go towards your first $100 in earnings. Now, there's information in the Frequently Asked Questions that tells you how you get paid. Once you get paid your first $100 in earnings, then, uh, then you can get access to that 20 bucks plus the other money that you made. But it's an affiliate app. So the whole point of signing up is to refer people to buy the software. Sure. Uh, but whenever they use the referral code Magic Brad, they get a head start, and uh, and yeah, and um, <laughs> that that that's pretty much it. Very <laughs> cool. Pretty simple. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to beam this up to the internet like I do, and then I put uh, links and all the stuff. I put it up on YouTube, and then I put it on different blogs and different places, and propagate it out to the world and let the internet do its job. But if you want to stick around, we'll have some more chat later on. I'm going to sign this one off, put it in a can, as they say, and beam it up to the universe. Okay. <laughs> See you later, Brad. Okay, peace.